Hi, my name is Bill Ben Snyder with Construction Electrical Products, and we'd like to welcome you to our Temporary Power Basics training video series. Today, we're going to be concentrating more on your smaller applications that require portable generators, and these can run anywhere in the 5,000 to 10,000 watt range. For purposes of this video, we have a 7,500 watt generator. Now, typically what you're going to find on these size generators is you're going to find two circuits. You're going to find a 20 amp, 125 volt circuit, and you're going to find a 30 amp circuit as well. Now on the 30 amp circuit, typically what's employed is what they call a full power outlet. This is a 30 amp, 125, 240 volt rated outlet, or a NEMA L14-30R configuration. Unfortunately, that's not a very typical configuration. So you're going to be hard pressed to find an extension cord to draw power off of that particular circuit. So what most people gravitate towards is the 120 volt circuit because it has your basic convenience outlet on there. So you can plug in your tools or you can plug in your extension cords directly into this 120 volt circuit. The first issue that that uh, employs is that you're really only utilizing about half the power of this generator. Very inefficient use of your power. The other, the other problem that it presents too as well is that this generator is not always convenient enough to be put exactly where the work's being done. So what a lot of people will do is they'll take a 12 gauge 100 foot cord run two of them in series off of this receptacle into a tri-tap connector. They're going to plug in all their tools into that connector and they're going to pull as much power as they can off of there. The problem that you have is that across that 200 foot run you're going to get a lot of voltage loss. And this voltage loss can create an overload situation that can damage your circuit or the tools that are plugged into it. So what's the solution? CEP manufactures power distribution boxes that are actually designed specifically to run full power off of these size generators. We have a two circuit indoor model and we also have a four circuit outdoor model available. Each one of them is pre-wired with the L1430 full power plug. So now you can plug directly into the full power outlet and you can draw maximum power off of this generator. The other issue is, is that when you're supplying temporary power on the job site, you want your people working as safely as possible. So both of these boxes employ the appropriate GFCI, ground fault circuit interrupter protection, and overload protection too as well. So you're protecting the person and you're protecting the circuit. Now these are employed or pre-wired with a six foot power cord, so it's not always convenient to uh, get that as close to the uh, job site as possible. So the other thing that's available are power cords in various lengths that you can get up to 100 feet and then you can plug the power cord into the generator and run the appropriate amount of length that you need to get to the job site and plug into your box. That's a basic plug and play design. Everything downstream is code compliant and safe. So we thank you for tuning into this video. We encourage you to check out other videos of this type on our website at www.cepnow.com.